The next person on the podium represents the previous employer. Uh, so in terms of Lord Astor, who is here, um, he's served as the uh, parliamentary undersecretary uh, in terms of the MOD uh, for uh, over 10 years now, since 2003. Um, and uh, uh, in terms of uh, the link that I found for Lord Astor to, uh, to X Forces, um, I understand that uh, he served in the lifeguards from 1965 to 1970, uh, a voluntary service to our, our great uh, society. Uh, maybe that's another angle for X Forces in terms of looking at uh, uh, those sorts of people who've also served, uh, served the community. Uh, please welcome to the stage Lord Astor. Thank you. Uh, Minister, uh, distinguished guests, um, thank you very much for, for that introduction. There's just one minor inaccuracy. I've, I've actually only been a minister for David Cameron since the last election, 2010. I, I didn't work for either Tony Blair or Gordon Brown. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, uh, thank you very much. Um, distinguished guests, uh, it's, it's a great pleasure to be here tonight in these uh, glorious surroundings to celebrate the success of a program that in the past year has made a huge impact. We've heard already a little about what's been achieved so far. Uh, but listening to the speeches, I wanted to make three observations. First, our servicemen and women and their families are a pretty talented bunch. We know that. Uh, you only have to look at the diversity of these businesses, from property management to premium vodka, photography to personal training, to see these are people capable of turning their hand to anything. Secondly, the skills learned through a career in our armed forces, leadership, self-reliance, and ingenuity, make our personnel ideal for business. You have to be a self-starter to succeed in our armed forces. But you also need to know how to make a little go a long way. <laughs> Some people in the armed forces would say that happened quite a lot at the moment. Um, and when you think about it, over 300 businesses grown from little over three million pounds is a pretty good return on investment. But this brings me to my third point. X Forces has been too successful. Demand is now exceeding supply. So anything that we can do to help these budding entrepreneurs succeed, the better. So today, I'm delighted to announce that the Ministry of Defence will do, be doing its bit, clearing a space near a defence base in Aldershot to give hopefuls the chance to incubate their innovation, receive advice from business experts, prototype their ideas, and put them into production. But now it's over to you, all of you. We have a shell that needs filling with the support that you can provide, whether that means offering up your time, your money, or your resources. We all remember what it was like to start our careers from scratch and how useful that initial leg up was. Those willing to lay down their lives to help keep us safe certainly deserve a big boost. Not that they need very much. However, altruism shouldn't be the only motivating factor here. Think of the potential business opportunities that could be uncovered. Their success will have a wider effect, galvanising the local economy, creating new jobs, above all, inspiring a whole new generation by showing how, with a little bit of inspiration, mixed with buckets of grit and determination, anything is possible. Thank you very much.
Thank you very much, Lord Astor, and thank you for representing uh, the, the Ministry of Defence this evening, and also for the announcement about the space of uh, the opportunity to use some space. For some of us who know what derelict and MOD and space mean, you can imagine what that space looks like, but nevertheless, it's a tremendous opportunity to take advantage of space, which, 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 which if you think about it, for, for, for people getting going in business, any support really matters. It's not just the support of, of finance or of people or of telling you it's good ideas. It is about physical support, a location to go and set up that business. And we're also working with an organisation called Makerspace, uh, looking at how we can bring the creative skills to bear and to reinvent and, and look at innovation and creativity uh, throughout, um, throughout the, the economy, taking advantage of the talent that people have, but also taking advantage of these spaces, of which we know there are a lot.